Now look at the question number six, and this question number six is also from you know Boolean algebra, and again one of the easiest question that you can get in your examination. Now let let us try to solve this. So they have given two Boolean equations, and they are saying which of the Boolean expression uh, equation is true and which one is false. So let us take the first expression here. So first expression we'll take in the left hand side. So we have w x plus w x plus y plus x of x plus y. So we have the first ex expression here, and we have to tell whether this expression is equivalent to this expression or not. Let us do one thing. Let us first of all open up these entire brackets. So this can be written as w x plus w x plus w y. Plus x dot x plus x dot y. Now in this expression, now you can see here that uh, this w x and w x these are two times. So we know that x plus x can only be written as x. So this is your uh, identity. Now we can use this identity to solve this question. Therefore, I can write this two w x as w x plus w y plus This is x dot x, so x dot x can be written as x only. So I can write single x plus x y. Now you can take uh, these three equations. This is the first one. This is this one and this one. You can come take x as common from all of them. So if you take x as common, so this will be, be w plus one plus y plus w y. Now this entire equation can be written as one because one is here. Because of this one, so this entire can be written as one. So it will be x plus w y. Hence, we can say this left hand side is equal to right hand side. The first one is true. Now let us look at the second one here. So second equation, we'll take it here. Second equation is w x complement y plus x z complement plus w complement x complement dot y. So we have to check whether it is equivalent to the right hand side or not. First of all, start uh, you know start by opening the brackets. So this can be written as w x complement y plus w w. Let me just rub it up. So this can be written as uh, w x complement x z complement plus w complement x complement dot y. Now you can see here because we have X complement on X. We know that if we have X complement dot X, that can be written as zero. This is equivalent to zero. So this equation can be written as W X complement Y plus zero plus W complement X complement dot Y. Now from this entire equation, you can take X complement as common. This can be eliminated. So X complement is common. So this can be written as uh, W Y plus W complement Uh, dot x complement, and here we can have uh, dot y. Now here you can distribute this w with it. So if you distribute, this will become w plus w complement dot y plus w complement. So this is uh, something like this, and then you can have dot x complement and dot y. Now you know that this is equivalent to one, so hence this entire equation can also be written as y plus w complement dot x complement dot y. Now open the brackets again, so it is x complement y plus x complement w dot y. Again, open uh, the brackets here. So this is after opening the brackets, so this can be written as x complement y dot y. Plus x complement w dot y. So because of this, uh, we can say this can be written as x complement y plus x complement w y. Further, you can take x complement w y as common from this. So this is x complement uh, y. If you take as common, so it will one plus w, which is equivalent to x complement y. Right. So this is equivalent. So hence we can say here also left hand side LHS is equivalent to RHS. So we can prove both in this both the equation. The first and second both the statements are true. So correct answer here is option number three. Both one and two are true for the question number six. Now let us look at the next question.